Hello everybody. In this video, I would like to try to answer this question. Are these triangles right triangles? A right triangle is any triangle that has a 90 degree angle in it. So your first temptation might be, well, let's grab a protractor and let's try to measure the angles and see if there's a 90 degree angle in it. And protractors are useful, they're handy, they can give you good approximations, but measuring things is always a little bit inaccurate. There's always a little bit of estimation involved. So I, I could bring this over and say, yeah, that's about 90 degrees, but do I know that it's exactly 90? Could it be actually 89? Could it be 89.5? Could it be 89.9? Could it be 90.1? we don't know for sure, at least using a protractor. Well, thankfully, there is a way that we can know for sure, and that is by using the Pythagorean Theorem. And the Pythagorean Theorem states that if a triangle is a right triangle, then the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Well, so what does that mean? Let me bring over a different paper here. If we have a right triangle, there's our right angle, then the two sides that meet at that right angle, we call those the legs of the triangle. And the side that is across from the right angle is called the hypotenuse. And generally, we will name the legs, sides A and B, and the hypotenuse will call that side C. So, in our theorem again, it says if it's a right triangle, then the sum of the squares of the legs adds up to the square of the hypotenuse. Well, what does that mean? Let's take a look at this leg. The squares of the legs, if this leg right here is A, well then this leg squared is going to be A squared. If this leg is B, then this leg squared is going to be B squared. And the hypotenuse squared is the hypotenuse is C, so the hypotenuse squared is just simply C squared. So what the Pythagorean theorem is saying is that if it's a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared, the sum of the squares of the legs, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So that's the Pythagorean theorem. So a little shorter, simpler way of stating this is, if we get rid of that long sentence and bring in the equation instead, if a triangle is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is the sum of the squares of the legs, and that's equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Well, back over to this problem though, we don't know for sure that these are right triangles. So we're not going to technically be using this Pythagorean theorem. What we're going to use instead is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. If we take this Pythagorean theorem and turn it around, if we turn it backwards, if instead we say, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle must be a right triangle. So this is the Pythagorean theorem up here. This is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to check to see if a squared plus b squared does indeed equal c e squared, then we know it's a right triangle. If a squared plus b squared gives us some other number that's not equal to c squared, we'll say no, it's not a right triangle. So let's give that a try. We'll start with this triangle here. The legs, if this is a right triangle, the legs are going to be the two shorter sides. So we'll call this side A and this side B, and this one would be the hypotenuse, C, if it is a right triangle. So let's see if A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We've got A is 6, so 6 squared plus B is 11, 11 squared is equal to C is 13, 13 squared. And 6 squared, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 11 squared. 
11 times 11 is 121. And 13 squared, or 13 times 13, is 169. And if I take these two numbers now, and if I add those together, 36 plus 121 is 157. And is that equal to our c squared? And 157 is certainly not equal to 169. So we would say a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared. So no, this is not a right triangle. Let's try this one. Using the same logic, the shorter two sides, if this were a right triangle, the shorter two sides would be our legs, so we'll call the shorter two sides A and B. The longest side is going to be our hypotenuse C, if this is a right triangle. So let's do the same thing. Does A squared plus B squared equal C squared? So we have 8 squared plus 15 squared is that equal to 17 squared? 8 times 8 is 64. 15 times 15 is 225. 17 times 17, or 17 squared, is 289. Take those two. 64 plus 225 is 289. And sure enough, in this case, 289 does equal 289. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So the answer to this one is yes. We have ourselves a right triangle. And there, we know for a fact, that one right there is our right angle. So what we just did was we used the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. That if a squared plus b squared does equal c squared, then it must be a right triangle. So hopefully these will be easy problems for you, and I hope this video was very helpful.